Temperatures expected overnight and early tomorrow morning are close to our last deep freeze 20 years ago. You might remember it. Rain, sleet, actual temperatures below zero. Tom Rousey live in Georgetown tonight with this look back and forward. Tom. Hey, Allison, you know, Doug Hill just said the wind chill here is seven below in D.C. It feels that and more. In fact, it's feeling like 1994. I remember that as a kid when the temperatures got even lower than they're going to get tonight. And the entire town of D.C., including the Potomac River, froze over. Like, what do you remember about it? Ice and cold. Couldn't even come outside. Hands was frozen. Oh, man, I couldn't move to go nowhere. Less than two weeks from today will mark the 20th anniversary of the last time it was colder than it's expected to get overnight. Back then, even though it was well below freezing, it rained and sleeted, and then temperatures plunged more, going as low as negative four at Reagan National. Worse than that in the suburbs. The result, D.C. was completely frozen over. This is the Potomac with birds sitting on it. And this Rockville family wasn't ice skating on an outdoor rink. They were on a tennis court. You half needed ice skates to get around because walking was a dangerous exercise. Just to go to the bank today it took me like an hour and a half. Driving wasn't such a great idea either. Ice led to terrible accidents like this one on I-95. The ice was still on the highway because it was frozen so solid, plows were worthless. Salt was worthless too, only sand worked, and even it froze. I've declared it a state of emergency. Then Mayor Sharon Pratt Kelly told folks not to go to work. But I lost a day's pay, you know, because I couldn't move the company truck. <laughs> But if you were a kid, it was actually fun. Man, we would just keep sliding, sliding, sliding down the, this long slope that we had in the alleys. That said, many didn't enjoy it. So are you hoping uh, it won't be quite so bad this time? <laughs> uh, pretty much. I hope it's not as bad, but I'm not sure. And I was talking to Doug Hill about that earlier. He tells me this time the temperatures won't go as low, but at times the wind chill may actually feel worse. And again, I remember 1994 and I'm out in this wind right now, and I think I believe that. It's starting to feel as bad, possibly even worse out here than two decades ago. Live along the Potomac in D.C., I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News. <laughs>